ready to try it out? Let's give it a okay, shot. Okay, so we got, hour. yeah, we got an hour. There's okay, slippery, so slippery ice. Slippery ice. Yeah. Super slippery. I yep. don't tread on my shoes. No. <laughs> and this okay. Is the table salt. I'm wiggling my feet around and they're staying Way in place. Yeah. yeah, lots Way of grip, grippy. lots of traction on there. Okay, let's go oh. next into the Okay, this road is the road salt. salt. How is yours feeling? Oh, it's interesting. Still kind of slippery. It is still kind of slippery. If yeah. we look at it, we can see that there's lots of a sort of pits where where the road salt has melted through. Now to our fertilizer. Fertilizer. We can see again, it's really easy to see all of the pits where uh, the fertilizer has been melting through the ice. I suppose fertilizer could work in a pinch. I wouldn't recommend applying a lot of it because of the environmental side effects that could happen, but definitely works in a pinch. Now let, let's try the vinegar because it also, eh, we certainly could see and hear some stuff when we were pouring it on the ground. It's not done much to change the texture on the surface. Yeah, it is really slippery. In fact, it feels it, more slippery than regular oh ice. Gosh. Yeah, it might be doing something to help speed up the melting, but it's not doing very much to reduce any of the slip. Okay, mm. let's go to uh, some of our just traction-based solutions. Okay. We got some yep. kitty litter. Yeah. Well, look at that. It's super grippy. It is really grippy. Now, this is not dissolving into the water, so it's not working in that way, um, but it is providing some bumpy surface on top of the ice. And also because the kitty litter is a darker color, it's going to help bring a little bit more heat onto the surface of the ice and melt those little bits around it. And our final one. Sand, tried and true. Look at that. That's oh, great. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Again, it's, it's uh, you know, connecting to the surface of the ice there and making it a more bumpy surface. Uh, when we add bumps, we're going to reduce the amount of slip on it. So if you could only have one of these, which would you choose? Uh, my gosh you know one of the ones that i'm liking the best is the sand because it's it is very effective you can feel a lot of grip and uh it's also not one that we have to worry about the environmental impact of as much as some of the other ones again on a sunny day sand is going to help uh, to melt things